What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul. Next installment of um, our series on the clean and press of Marvel Premiere number 28 for our 100 subscriber giveaway, TJ. The winner, I should say, TJ. Um, first appearance of Legion of Monsters. So last episode, I removed this staple. <clears throat> it does have one short arm. I guess it's a little bit like Nemo. Um, it's got some surface rust on it. It's actually not bad. Just surface rust. It hasn't migrated into the paper. And um, so we're going to try to just clean this staple. It's still, the metal's still good. So we're just going to try to clean that surface rust off. If we clean it too much and we get too shiny, then we'll see what we need to do about maybe cold galvanizing it to put a little patina back on. I'm going to, um, <clears throat> the inner arms are nice. So I'm going to try not to clean those. We're just going to try to clean this outside part of the staple that was exposed to some humidity. All right, so the tools that we use. This is the material that we used to use back in the day. This is steel wool. Um, I don't like to use it because it's messy. Uh, as you use it, the little fibers break off. They get everywhere. This material rusts. Uh, it still works, but we have better options today. We have synthetic steel wools available that I think, frankly, just work better. You can see just from setting it there, there's a bunch of little trash here that I just don't want in my workspace. So what are the materials we can we can use that are better? Because um, it's, the, it's the 21st century. Uh, I use these synthetic steel wools by Scotch-Brite, by 3M, sold under the Scotch-Brite brand, okay? Um, the three that matter to us are these three colors. There's actually a color between these you could reasonably use, but uh, these are the three that I have on hand today. So this is the white. This is equivalent to 4 aught steel wool. This is the finest of the Scotch-Brite pads. It is um, catalog number 7445. The reason why these are better than steel wool is they're open weave, they're synthetic, um, they don't rust, they don't shed like you saw with the steel wool, and so they're a lot less messy in our work environment, and that's why I prefer them. So this is the equivalent of 4-0, 4 aught, and um, it's really not abrasive enough to cut surface rust, but we might try to finish a staple with this. Um, this gray pad is the catalog number 7448. This is the equivalent to zero-aught steel wool. This is the one that I typically use. Um, there is another grade in between these. It's sort of a uh, ochre type color, and it is the equivalent to triple-aught and um, I imagine that that would probably work reasonably well too. This is the one that I use. I just use this and I don't press very hard. I'm very gentle with this and I get a nice result with a reasonable amount of time spent. You may also see the maroon one or the green one. These are sometimes available um, more easily like at hardware stores or local wherever you shop. This maroon one is the catalog 7447. This is the equivalent of um, steel wool grade one. This is too abrasive, generally. I'm not saying you couldn't use this here and get a reasonable result, but you would have to be very careful with it. And we're able to basically get the result we want with this material here quickly. Um, so I show it more for completeness sake. Um, we're gonna use this one here today for, for starters, and we'll see how it goes. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the staple and I'm gonna put the pad here and I'm gonna hold these arms and I'm gonna gently rub the staple on the pad and then I'm gonna inspect it and we'll see what we have. I'm gonna inspect it early and often and I'm gonna inspect it under magnification so that I can see how our progress is going. So we've already removed a fair amount of the surface rust just with that little bit that I just did. There we 
go. So I think on this outside edge of the staple here that's exposed, we've already done a reasonable job of cleaning that in such a way that we've removed we've removed the rust without making it too shiny. The issue that we have with this staple is that we have rust on the inside of here too. So we're going to have to get in there with this abrasive pad. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the staple. I'm gonna go back and forth in there with the pad. And even these pads are a little messy. I sometimes use these for other jobs. These are not dedicated. So some of the, some of the dirt on these is from other jobs I've done. We can also use uh, different tools to hold this if, if we feel it's necessary. But I think the tools that Mother Nature gave us are going to work out reasonably well here. We do want to make sure that we don't put too much pressure on the steel unsupported, which is why I'm setting it back down again. Because I certainly don't want to bend it or uh, break it. All right. So how are we doing? We're doing pretty good. We have one spot still that's a little stubborn, showing a little bit of rust. So I'm going to continue what I'm doing. Keep in mind that the very inside of this staple is going to be up against the paper and nobody's going to be able to see it. I don't know when CGC grades if they use magnification to inspect this. I'm certainly going to because I want it to be certainly presentable beyond just what you can see with the naked eye. even if all they use is the naked eye. And TJ was on the fence about whether or not he wanted to sub this book to CGC. He said, let's, uh, let's see how it turns out when you're done with it. So we have to be cognizant that this book may go to CGC. If it does, it may get a conserved grade because of what we're doing. And, um, you know, like we talked about before, the most important thing is disclosure. And so TJ's the owner of the book. He knows what we're doing. We have his blessing. Um, he's an honest fellow, I'm sure. If he were to sell this book, I think this book is for his PC, but if he were to sell this book, the appropriate thing to do would be to disclose that we did clean a staple. It's the original staple. But, you know, depending on how CGC wants to deal with that, they may decide that that's a conserved grade. Okay. I feel pretty good about this now. I'm going to work just a little bit more on this one side i think but this is a, a nice looking staple now it is rust free without being too shiny and it will not show even under magnification it will not show scratch marks like it would have if we uh, used sandpaper on it. 
Okay, we don't want it to look perfect. We want it to have a little bit of patina, so... I think we're almost done with it. And what I'll do is, I'll look at this one relative to the other one. And if I think this one's too shiny, well, we have options. We can shine the other one up a little bit, or we can cold galvanize this one, which is just a placing it in a chemical. All right, I think this is in great shape. All right, let me um, let me clean this mess up, and we'll get see if we can get some um, a short video of results on this.